Welcome to this edition of Oregon State University's Dictionary of Applied Economics. My name is James Stearns and I'm a faculty member here in our department. I conduct research and teach courses in the general area of agribusiness marketing. In this video, I would like to extend a definition of agribusiness marketing uh, to highlight how strategies for marketing agribusiness products have become more diverse. First, a review. In a previous video, I defined agribusiness marketing as the marketing of agricultural commodities as a price taker, with price risk management, arbitrage, and collective action as the main levers that agribusiness managers can pursue to profitably and successfully market their products. In this video, I want to add two agribusiness marketing strategies that have become more relevant and more prevalent in the agri-food system in recent decades. The concept of value-added agriculture and the growing importance of product differentiation in agricultural markets. Both of these strategies are attempts to overcome the challenges of being a price taker selling in a commodity market. First a warning, in practice there can be considerable overlap between these two strategies. Visually, think of a Venn diagram with parts of each circle outside of the others, but also quite a bit of overlap between the two circles. So to be clear, not all value-added agriculture strategies rely on product differentiation. Similarly, not all product differentiation strategies fit into the definition of value-added agriculture. Second thing to remember, it's about perspective. Value-added agriculture at its inception was very much about enhancing producers' ability to succeed in the market. There's a basic producer bias in this strategy, which focuses on how farmers could add value to their commodity products and thus command a better price. Um, product differentiation as a concept starts with the preferences of the consumer and then looks at how differentiating your products to meet those preferences and it can capture consumer demand and thus create competitive advantage in the business. Some examples should help. An early example of value-added agriculture was provided by a group of North Dakota wheat farmers who pooled their capital to fund the construction of a pasta manufacturing plant that transformed their wheat into a retail food product. That transformation is the value added of this strategy and allowed the farmers to sell a branded food product instead of their commodity wheat. Current examples of product differentiation are the many certification programs that farmers are using now to capture a subset of consumers who care passionately about specific product attributes. And a simple example would be antibiotic-free and free-range poultry products. Though many value-added agricultural strategies attempt to create product differentiation, not all do so. And you can evaluate which do or don't by asking the, if the farmer is still a price taker in the new market post value added. An example of this would be corn farmers who have pooled their financial resources to construct an ethanol plant. Ethanol, much like corn that is used to make it, is a commodity product. So it's interchangeability with any other ethanol that's on the market. And so they've, they're still in that price taker mode of selling a commodity. Now examples of product differentiation that may not involve explicit efforts to add value would be various marketing schemes to promote a product. For example, mild, sweet, yellow onions. If you're from the Southeast United States, you might be very familiar with Vidalia onions. If you're from the Pacific Northwest, you might be really familiar with Walla Walla onions. Both very similar products, but they're being differentiated by their geographic indicators. Farmers are using those indicators to differentiate their product in hopes of earning a price premium in the marketplace. So to conclude, adding to the list of potential strategies of price risk management, arbitrage, and collective action as the historic levers that define agribusiness marketing, we can now also talk about value-added agriculture and product differentiation as newer strategies that also can be used to succeed and define agribusiness marketing.